All right, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Dirty Spark, if you know me from the Abyss Clan, or it's Mark, if you know me from this channel. Uh, I'm waiting for Eric to get here. I thought I'd showcase off some stuff that I've been um, collecting, I guess investing would be another word for it. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about the new XY Evolutions and just the pricing of uh, the, you know the cards at the moment after that uh, Logan Paul bro guy did. He, uh, he made that $200,000 uh, Shadowless first edition booster box opening. And uh, I just, um, I don't know, I thought I'd show you what I've been uh, what I've been collecting for a little bit. I have, um, let's see if I can get this in focus. So I have these, uh, I've been collecting these armored Mewtwo's. I got a few Japanese ones, a few English. Let me get the pile down a little bit. This pile's kind of big. Uh, I've been collecting a few of these uh, English copies as well. I picked them up for like around 20 to 25 each. Um, and these, these when they first came out, they're pretty like, I don't want to say valueless, but they've been on the rise slowly but surely. Uh, I bought a Zygarde for my Champion's Path. There's another Armored Mewtwo. Another one. Uh, some more Champion's Path purchases. I'm trying to build a Master Set. Um, ooh. Some more Champion's Path purchases for my Master Set. I bought a pack of the stack of these is what I should say. I bought like five of these just because I like the artwork of them. Maybe they'll go up in value. Who knows? I'm uh, I'm recording this on our new camera. Let me know how it sounds and everything and how it looks. I know it's kind of zoomed in. I'm kind of got this half-ass uh, arm that it's sitting on for recording. So I'm looking to purchase a new one um, pretty soon. If you guys can recommend one that's um, that's got a lot of like uh, length to it. That'd be cool. So I started picking up. I like I like I, I collect these uh, secret rare energies. I like I like hollow energies. They're cool. Um, these fairy energies they're going to be discontinued. They're removing fairy from the TCG. So I think these are going to be pretty hot uh, commodity down the line. I picked up a few of these because these have the fairy logo on them. And then, I, like I said, I collect uh, energies, so any secret or energy I like. I also picked up a few of these Charizards. These Charizards came in the same set as the Mewtwo along with Pikachu. The Pikachu is currently sitting around like $2 each right now. The Charizard sitting around like 15 to 20 each right now. So I picked up a few of these just in case they do go up in value. I think that'd be a pretty cool, uh, I don't know, investment, I guess. I, uh, I got a good play mat, as you can see. It's tired of staring at the table. Um, I also did purchase a XY Evolutions booster box. I think I paid like four fifteen with tax. So I don't know where exactly the market's going for those, but um, I'm probably going to sell mine in like January, maybe late December, because uh, I'm a little scared they're going to crash. There's really no reason for them to be as, as expensive as they are. Other than just, you know, um, a whole bunch of people watching that Logan Paul and getting back into Pokemon. I also did pick me up a booster box of the Lost Thunder. So, um, I think I paid 150 for this. I'm probably going to keep this in my personal storage for a while. Don't plan on selling that. Later on today, or it might be another day for you. I picked up a whole case of these sleeve cosmic eclipse. I was looking at the pricing forum. Jesus, you cannot see too well this camera. I was looking at the pricing forum, and uh, they are they are currently. I think you might be able to actually able to make money if you open the packs. Because there's a lot of cards over twenty dollars. I'm aware it's a big set though, so I guess it depends on how lucky unlucky you are. I. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try my luck. Um, but I guess that's it for this video. Well, maybe I could, 
don't think this camera's in the cap for that. I'm gonna try though. So I got all my camera stuff out. Um, yeah, this camera's not gonna be able to do it any justice. I was gonna show you my, my binder, but I guess I'll have to wait for another time. Anyway, uh, I'd be interested in, letting, in seeing what you guys are collecting or investing in, you know? Uh, update on some stuff I picked up, some more stuff that came in the mail. I, uh, oof. Got a couple things here. I, uh, some more Champions Pad stuff. We have a Dreadnought V, a Kabu, a Creamy V Max, a bunch of uh, just a whole pack of uh, Reverse Hollows, some V Max, more Reverse Hollows. Just a little something to help uh, finish off the Champions Path. Um. I got one, two, three sword and shield. Uh, I can't really see them too well from this angle, but I got three sword and shield booster boxes. Um, I'll probably bust one open in another video. Put two aside for storage. Um, I picked up a few more of these Champions Path ETBs. This a little back. Um, I'm probably gonna bust one of them open just because I feel like opening something. This is just gonna be a pack full video. This isn't gonna be a stab a pack. <laughs> Not on this episode, at least. Here's a code card. Help yourself. Here's the actual promo. I think this one is. It doesn't look that off centered, actually. I think this side's a little smaller than this side, yeah. Oh well. Can't win all the time. So, let's get into these packs. Alright. Sorry, my hands are a little dirty. I just got off of work. Did a two and a half hour commute home. Was brutal. At least it's Friday, though, right? So there's another code card. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Got a psychic energy. Rotom phone. Absol. Great Ball, Vulpix, Rockruff, Perlon, Lanoon, Sizzlepeak, Reverse Pokeball, and then a Hollow Hat Ring. So there's nothing we haven't pulled yet. I think the only card that I need for my collection now is the Rainbow Rare VMAX card. Two, three, four. Fighting Energy. Pokemon Center 80. Let's see if I can adjust this uh, light when it's not. To the Elgron, 15. And then uh, Nick it. 
Okay. Roly Coley. Sizzle P. Obstacle Reverse. And Altaria. Hollow. So far, not too impressed. I, uh, I guess there's 10 packs here. Can't be too mad, huh? Oof. Fire energy. Maybe choke. Fears. Weedle. Swablu. Kakuna. Pokeball. A chop. A reverse lichen rock. And a Zygarde. I stabbed one of these, so. It's nice to have another one. Yeah, I'm waiting for Eric to come over sometime this weekend so he can open up the ET I bought him for uh, the ETB I bought him for his birthday. Get that on camera hopefully. Maybe he'll get a lucky birthday pull. Who knows? Steel energy, rotom foam. Milo, Arbok, Machop, Roly Coley, Carvana, Potion, Rock Ruff, Reverse, Hanani, Hanana, a Venusaur V. I think we only pulled one of these out of all the packs we've opened so far. Very interesting. I wonder what the rates are for some of these. I don't know if the rest of you have been following the. Um, Champions path kind of like pricing a lot of the cards are falling pretty hard or a lot of the ones you expect to fall pretty hard to fall. I think I saw a hop a full art hop was like a dollar something last time I looked at it um, Both the Charizards are sitting around like 450 I think um, What else I think Kabu was down to like 17 The rainbow rare Kabu um, I'm gonna start uh, if the if the promos ever get un like around under 15, preferably around 12 dollars each. I'm probably gonna start hoarding those. I uh, I definitely dig the artwork of the promo, and the shinies are just makes it look that much better. Uh, let's see if this dry spell will end. I feel like the double boxes have better pull than these uh, ECBs, to be honest. But I don't know, it's just me. Let me know what you guys' pulls were if you've opened any of these ETBs. I've been seeing some people on Reddit saying they pulled uh, both the Zards in one ETB. I mean, that's some kind of crazy RNG. I don't know anyone who's that lucky. Sharpedo reverse and a grip. Grab lock, grip lock. That's what, two V's out of the CTB so far? Absol, Rotom Bike, Machoke, Magnum, Nicket, Machop, Ekans, Swablu, Sizzlepeed, and another Zygarde. Well, that's a uh, yeah, Sizzlepeed, I think. Down to the last three packs. Did any of you by chance get the order, um, get a chance to order uh, that new Kanazawa specialty Pikachu box? I got, I ordered two of them. I'm hoping my 
pre-order gets fulfilled and I just don't get, you know, bombed out of it. A lot of Zygarde's just ETB, damn. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, obviously I just didn't pay for them to reimburse me down the line. Um, you know, I, I really think that, uh, that specialty box is really, I love the artwork on it. Beautiful. And it's not every day they open up the Pokemon Center. Kind of regretting opening the CTV, man. Let's see if we get some last pack magic. TV. I guess I shouldn't complain. A lot of people can't get their hands on them. I think I've already opened like four of them. Um, yeah, so here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start busting open some of these uh, single packs. opening packs today. Jesus. It is in there, boy. What is it? Blue down? I think it was. Look at this. packs I've ever opened. So here's another nothing pack, so let's just fly through it. Oh, that was a full art actually, so it really wasn't that bad of a nothing pack. Like train going, huh? Maybe that's the secret. You got a tenor from the top. Look at that artwork, though, man. That is dope. I, uh... This was the set that I came back and I started collecting again on. I have like a half completed binder of this one. Uh, I like to make master sets. I'm pretty sure I've said like a million times already. But, um, this one feels flimsy as fuck. Wow. Let's see what we get. Reverse muck and oh, I like that. That is nice. Blastoids pit Rock tag team, baby, baby. Um, I feel like I should have a whole bunch of sleeves back here. Yes, I do. Let's get this bad boy sleeved. I was thinking about um, ordering a few of those Japanese Pikachu Zek Rom tag team gold cards. I'm uh, pretty interested in those. Those look pretty dope. And it's looking like we won't get them in the States, so more of a reason plus look at this this is this is pretty cool I like this oh well, I, I don't know if I've discussed this uh, in an earlier video I've been doing a lot of like random 
couple packs recording that I'm, I gotta compile into one video, but um, the reason I bought all these Cosmic Eclipse Booster Pack sleeves was because uh, I was checking the pricing on a lot of these cards, and this was a big set, and um, this set had a lot of, uh, put this to the side. This set had a lot of cards that were $20 plus in it. So I was like, maybe you can actually profit if you open them. I mean, I know it's all RNG based, obviously, but who knows, you know? Who knows? This is the artwork Eric likes. Oh, if you didn't know, they're actually making um, a promo card with um, the baby Pokemon. It's called, uh, I think it's called like Small But Mighty or Tiny But Mighty or something like that. So you should probably keep your eye out for that one. That one's going to be a Vivid Voltage set, I believe. Here's another green card, so... Probably nothing good. Let's fan through it. I'm not too in a right shoe. Um, for me, I'm looking for... I guess the God, the God cards, the alternate art, the Arceus, Palkia, and Dialga. I think that card's sitting around sixty dollars at the moment. And uh, it was crazy too, because I remember when uh, this set first came out, I was like, dude, that artwork's pretty dope. I think I want to, um, I think I want to stock up on them, but then I never did. Kind of fell off. And, Sylveon. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let me sleeve that up and get this stuff out of the way. Also, I'm pretty sure, as you can see, we got a new play mat. I was tired of scraping my cards against my table. Is that N? I think that's N they have right there. I think that's that dude's name. God damn. Jesus. Cosmo, okay, and a Rosa. I feel like the full art Rosa. I don't know what set it was from. Was worth a pretty penny. So far, it's looking like we're losing money on these, but I mean that's to be expected. The second full art I pulled out of these uh, green packs. Oh shit! Oh well. I think I've already had this one though. I think there's a Pikachu one in this one that I wanted. So let's uh, let's keep it going. Huh? YouTubers do you guys watch for your Pokemon content? I've been kind of dabbling in some other YouTubers. Normally I wouldn't really do too much pack opening or TCG uh, discussion videos, but lately I've been watching, um, I think it goes by Pokey Randy, Ran Randolph, Pokey, Pokemon, something like that. 
He's a pretty cool guy from what I've seen in the videos. Uh, Twice Baked Jake. Who else? Uh, there's a few of them I can't remember off the top of my head, but mostly I watch their discussion videos about what to invest in. That Pokey Rand dude, that dude said he's opened over 2,000 uh, Hidden Fates um, booster f um, packs on camera and still hasn't pulled that Zard yet. So, I mean, if that's the case, that's insane. Like, I don't know. I feel like that Zard was the hardest to pull out of all the other Zards. Um, I feel like, I mean, I, I, I was going to say Champions Pad Zard is probably easier to pull, but I've only pulled one out of all the packs that I've opened, so I don't know how much easier. But I tell you, I ain't nowhere close to 2,000, though. This is a green pack, I should have ran through it. Yeah. So each one of these boxes is uh, 24 single sleeves booster packs. About 72 of them. It's three boxes. throwing random questions out there, but what do you guys collect? Like, I love hollow energies for some reason. Don't know why. The secret or energies are usually go up in value pretty nicely. That's one thing I like about those. But even the like the normal reverse hollow energies I find really cool. Let me know what you guys collect. This almost looks bent. Teddy Ursa. This is worth. Let's get this bad boy sleeved up. I feel like that's one of the pulls that are going to make the difference. I wasn't ready for that one. I'm kind of pulling shit these whole packs. Can't win them all. Ooh, I gotta move. 
this one. I'm not sure if this copies or all of I gotta go through all my bulk and pick up those uh, the scoop up trainers. Apparently they're selling for like two dollars each, so that kind of makes the bulk worthwhile to sell. I want to sort through is what I should say. Psychic energy, Chester Oak, Iro, Cotney, Rowlet, Phantom, Hello and Grimer, Magnemite. Do 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 Peter? Do Peter? And a Guzzlord. Ooh. Let's keep the hype train going, baby. Sleep, man. I work too much. Buy sharp. Trevin it. We're coming down to the last few packs here. Oof. You got what? Four more? card for the set really was. Was it the Charizard and Brixian? Brixian, whatever it's called. I feel like it was. Ooh, was it a four? Mix it real. And Mercenary. Freaking packs, everyone. Oof. I feel these last packs are going to be all green go cards. Jesus Christ. I guess this is why people prefer the uh, the booster packs rather than the actual sleeve um, options that they give you to buy, you know. 36 sleeve packs. I guess you're guaranteed a certain amount of like rares when you buy a booster box though, so that's understandable. But this is just hit and miss. Maybe it's a miss. Ooh. A white pack to finish it off. Let's hope for something good, huh? Low and Mew, Thralts, Norzian, Jigamu, Type Null, and ooh, Togepi, Cleffa, and 
What is that? Igly Buff? Tag Team GX. That's pretty cool. I don't think that one's worth too much, but whatever. Anyways, that's all I got.